Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. The weather has been beautiful on this Monday, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures still running a little bit above average, but we're still talking to, uh, lower humidity. You can see the live picture out there behind us in Colleen looking good. Our live Centex roof system sky tracker is on top of one Colleen Center. It is 84 degrees in Colleen. Look at the humidity at 20%, thanks to our dew point at 40 degrees. The air is very, very dry. Matter of fact, look at the low temperature this morning here in Waco 47 degrees. We tied the record. Yeah, we tied the record low that was set back in 1975. And we're going to see temperatures all week long running just a little bit above average. Our average reading is about 85, 86. We're going to be in the upper 80s to lower 90s. Still not looking bad, but we are talking about some, uh, a little bit more humidity by the end of the week. 90 degrees tomorrow, 92 on Wednesday, 93 on Thursday, 91 on Friday, we've got a front that moves through here, but it looks like it's a dry front with temperatures very seasonal as we hit the weekend. And our rain chances, I wish we could throw some rain in the forecast here, but there's nothing, at least on the board right now, at least through Monday, maybe by the tail end of next week. And we'll show you that here in the 10 day forecast coming up in just a little bit. It is 88 degrees in Waco, Temple has 87, 84 in Gatesville. It's 84 degrees in the Brownwood area. Clear skies down toward College Station. Current temperature right at 88. Few clouds well to the south. And again, these are just some high clouds kind of streaming in here. Nothing that will bring us any rainfall. Still high and dry weather. And again, if you look to the west, not much going on in West Texas. They've got clear skies, and that's what we're going to be seeing later on tonight. Our forecast calls for clear skies, quiet weather. If you are headed out this evening after dinner, maybe for a walk, just a beautiful night for that. We're talking temperatures in the 70s. Eventually, by midnight, falling back down in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. By tomorrow morning, though, notice those temperatures falling back down into the 50s. And again, maybe just a little bit warmer than what we had this morning, but still a very comfortable start to the day. Around 56 here in Waco, 55 over toward Comanche. As we go throughout the morning, some high cirrus clouds down in the Brazos Valley. Temperatures in the lower 80s by noon and by the afternoon. We'll make a run at the upper 80s and lower 90s. Still not looking bad here across our area. Late Tuesday night, clear skies, quiet conditions. Temperatures once again starting off in the 50s on uh, Wednesday morning here. There could be a few 60s, but we're talking lower humidity, so really not feeling bad. And then throughout the day on Wednesday, we're talking sunshine. Temperatures upper 80s to lower 90s. A few clouds over toward Brownwood and Comanche, but that's going to be mainly about it. So here's the forecast in more detail, mostly clear skies. We've got that northeast breeze at 5 to 10. That's ushering in some drier air, and that allows those temperatures to fall. But again, I don't think we're going to be in the 40s tomorrow morning. Around 55 should do it here in our area. And then tomorrow, look for mostly sunny skies. A high around 90 degrees. Southeast winds at 5 to 10. Now, as we look ahead here, this is your family RV, long range, 10 day forecast. 92 on Wednesday, 93 on Thursday. On Friday, there's the front that moves through. It's going to be a dry front. It'll actually bring temperatures back down to where we should be for this time of the year, around 86 degrees. And then temperatures next week, well, pretty quiet for the most part. Our next chance of a weather pattern change could be next Wednesday and Thursday. I've got some rain chances. It's so far away, so I just have a 20% chance right now. But we'll update that and we'll watch that as we go throughout the next week or so. Low temperatures generally in the 50s and 60s, and then down toward Bryan and College Station. Upper 80s to lower 90s for highs. There's the front on Friday. A little bit cooler over the weekend, but a beautiful looking weekend. Nighttime lows will be in the 60s. And again, keep your fingers crossed. Maybe by the tail end of next weekend, we can see a little change here, which could bring us some 